Summer Jam Day Camp operates throughout the summer months. So as soon as school is finished, we're up and running and we go straight through the summer until the Friday before Labor Day, offering parents as much available childcare as possible. We plan it in a way that makes it interesting for the kids. We have themes every week, different activities to go along with our themes, different field trips every week. We take them swimming, we take them to the library, we use our beautiful Little Lake Park, which is a great resource for us. We've also constructed it in a way that makes it a little more convenient for parents. Unlike some camps where you have to register for the entire week, um, we will go on a day-by-day -day basis because we understand not every parent needs care every day and we want to be as convenient for them as possible. Shall we share in this Uh, this year we've got some really great themes. Um, we did a Five Senses theme, which was a new one for us and really fun. Um, our field trip for that, we went to a farm, so it was uh, it was smell day that day, and the kids had a great time. Uh, we have a magic theme, so we'll be going to see a magic show. Uh, we have a water week. Kids love doing that, so we'll have all sorts of activities where they're running around outside, playing water games and getting wet really taking advantage of the heat of the summer. This week's theme was um, Welcome to the Jungle. Kids always like a, an animal themed week. And so our trip was to the Uncle Jungle Zoo. Hey Justine. Hello. <laughs> Each counselor took about eight kids and went around the zoo to look at everything. We saw a show there with a bunch of baby animals. All the kids loved all the monkeys and the lions. Although they were more impressed with the pigs than the lions. <laughs> the other day, as our craft in our very first week of camp, they did a DIY drive-in. So in the morning, all of the kids were given a cardboard box that they were allowed to decorate and they made them look like cars. Once the boxes were finished, we set them all up on the ground and they all sat in the boxes to watch their movie and had a blast eating their snacks and watching the movie. It was like a regular drive-in. <laughs> Over the past few years, we've actually been building up and uh, last year was our highest number of campers ever and we had over 1200 kids attend throughout the summer and we're hoping to do at least the same hopefully even better this year it's a great opportunity we've got lots of kids returning every year and tons of new faces every day as well so um, i think the main concerns for parents are making sure that the kids are having a good time obviously but they also want to know that when they drop their kids off in the morning that they're going to be safe, they're going to be well looked after, there's going to be lots for them to do, and that the kids are going to want to come back in the morning. Um, so we've created an environment that really provides all that for them. They're looking to make sure their kids are safe and having fun. A lot, a lot of the things I've heard of is the kids come shy and so they want their kids to socialize with other children and it ends up happening because we have so many social butterflies at this camp that it's just crazy and it works out really well. They all end up becoming friends with each other and I think, yeah, that's the main point, becoming friends and having fun. For the museum, Summer Jam Day Camp has become a really important part of our programming. Not only as a benefit to the museum, but for us we look at it as a way of building relationships with the younger members of our community. So we kind of consider today's campers as our future museum members. They're growing up with us here and someday they're going to remember us and they're going to come back with their own families and their own kids. So it's a great way to build relationships. It's a Heronia This is the Heronia Museum doing fun things! Get out of the way! Doing fun things! Fun things! Stop it! <laughs> fun 